did you guys know that if you go to my Discord server, you go to the giveaways channel and you enter the giveaway, you might be lucky enough to win yourself a free thrust capacitor. All you have to go do, go to the link in the description, go to the giveaway, and just enter and you're in. Just follow the rules and you might be the lucky person to win a free thrust capacitor. Do you guys know the thrust capacitor brought back cross dash? By doing so, you can actually cross dash. To do it, all you have to do is warrant at the first building, or if you don't have the not not needed, uh, then you have to use thrust capacitor before using before wall running on the other building, then wall run right away. And that's how you cross dash. With thrust capacitor, you can go to a complete velocity stop after dashes. Just like so. By dashing, then just pressing space without holding any other keys, you can go to complete stop. So doing this, then pressing space would send you to a complete stop. Like cross dash, this also brought a pretty cool alternative. Cut dash mid-air. So I'll show you a little demonstration right now. As you can see, uh, pressing space mid-air and looking at other directions will send you flying towards there. So this basically just adds another dash mid-air. It's crazy. To do this, all you have to do is dash twice straight, then look to the direction you want to go, and then press space again. Another way to utilize your thrust capacitor is by drop speed. Drop speed is waiting a little bit before using your thrust capacitor by dropping. So dropping and waiting before using it will uh, give you more options to gaps and like, you know, routes and stuff. So just like this route. But be careful while using drop speed because just using it while dropping without pressing shift would damage you or even kill you. So while you're dropping, you have to press shift, then space immediately, just like a normal landing. So this is actually a, a big problem that not a lot of people know about, and I don't uh, think the developers are going to do anything about it. If you go for a dash, if you go for a dash and this happens, you are not able to dash, and you use your thrust capacitor, just like so, to to undo this, go to your settings, uh, go down to gameplay settings under keybinds, turn on hold to wall run. Without hold to wall run, you won't be able to dash or use it, so you have to only tap once while dashing. If you guys are uh, users of double tap like me, this might take a while to get used to, but trust me, it's worth it to be able to use this. Another really cool thing that could be used to like, you know, juke your friends or in runs is that stopping mid-air does not mean stopping velocity. So let me just show you what I mean. As you can see there, I stopped mid-air but the velocity still made me launch. So if you stop mid-air by a grappler or something, you can still launch yourself very far. Doing this is honestly very simple, just dash grappler somewhere and then dash it and then use your thrust capacitor so yeah did you guys know that zip lines can actually restart your thrust capacitor as you can see I used it twice before landing that's because the zipline restarts your thrust capacitor ammo So something that some people might find as a curse or a blessing is that springboarding launches you very high, just like so. As you can see, this springboard is not supposed to launch me that high. To do this, all you gotta do is build up some momentum, use your, use your thrust capacitor and go onto the edge of a building or a springboard and you'll be launched super high. Another thing that I find very cool is that you can actually use thrust capacitor while wingsuiting.
So although using Wings get faster while uh, wingsuiting gives you extra speed, it does make you lose your stamina faster. So be careful while using it. And that's basically it. Thank you guys for sticking around and good luck on the giveaway if you've entered.